We've asked these guys to create a best 11 from the following title winning sides. The United 1994 side, the United 1999 side, the United 2008 side, Arsenal 1998 team, Arsenal's 2003-2014, Blackburn's 95 team, Ranieri's Leicester, Pep City, Klopp's Liverpool, and of course Jose Mourinho's Chelsea in 2005. And your 11th player needs to be from anywhere else, but not those teams or clubs, i.e. although Gerard didn't win the title, you still can't choose him because Liverpool have won the Premier League. Why is that always the example, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't put it in it. I didn't, I didn't put it in it. You must pick one player only from each of these sides and they must be in their correct positions. And here are the players you've agreed on. You've both gone 4 free, free. Tony Adams from Arsenal's 1998 team. Kevin De Bruyne from Pep City side. Modric is your wild card. I was thinking Bale, Modric, and I thought Modric's one of the best player in the world, Ballon yeah, d'Or. Yeah. So you're thinking Ronaldo, 2008 Manchester United. And for your fifth, you both went Shearer up top from Blackburn's 95 team. There's no one no, else to pick from Blackburn. No, I, I, to be fair, at one point, I had Lasso at left. I, I had him at one stage. I, I thought, no, I'll. I'll change my right back to be someone slightly different and just tweak your tail a little and bit. And put yourself in, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Gary Neville. <laughs> you say that, we man. <laughs> OK, so there's six disagreements. First position, goalkeeper. Yeah. Cara, who'd you go for? I went for Alisson. When it comes to the Liverpool one, it was, it was obviously the goalkeeper, Van Dijk or Salah, and I was just trying to move me players around. I went for, I went for, for Alisson. I think he can go up against any goalkeeper in, in Premier League history. I went for the what I think is the best goalkeeper that's ever played in the Premier League, which was Peter Schmeichel. I had this choice because of 94 and 99, where a couple of players that I wanted to pick played in both. So I was switching around to see whether I could do something with that. But in the end, I just went, no, I've got to have the best goalkeeper. It's a massive position. I always talk about being the most difficult position, so I went for Schmeichel. Your next disagreement was at, was at right back. Cara, who'd you go for? I went for him. We're on the Gary Neville podcast, aren't we? Who <laughs> <laughs> wants that next season's contract signed? Yeah. I had uh, Roy Keane in for the 99 team, but then I was looking at the other teams and, and I just felt the drop off. I didn't want to sort of have a real massive drop off in a certain position, just a slight drop off. <laughs> <laughs> Fullbacks definitely were the ones that I was throwing up and down. I thought, who can I pick that will create a bit of a, a story? Yeah. So I went for the uh, Leicester City's Danny Simpson. Oh, and Simo. Just because of his Twitter spat with him. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I'm going to put Danny Simpson in at right back. The other centre half. I went for John Terry from the uh, Mourinho team of 04 05. I think he got played the year that year, actually. And that was the season Chelsea, I think, only conceded 15 or 16 goals, I think is still a record. So, yeah, John Terry and Tony Adams. I went for um, Sol Campbell of the Arsenal Invincibles. An unprecedented season to win the league uh, and not lose. So I've gone for Adams and Campbell with Danny Simpson. Let's have a little look at the left-backs. Gary, who'd you go for? I went for William Gallas. Oh, my God, how bad's this team? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Right. Now you know what happened to Valencia, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought Gallas at left back was so solid. Was no, you couldn't get down his side. There was nothing he gave away. I, try and do this, by the way, after. It's not easy when you get to full-backs. So, yeah, I went for Dennis Irwin. He knows him better than me. He, he, he tells me consistently that Dennis Irwin is the, the best full-back to play uh, for Manchester United, certainly in the Premier League era. He's not someone who, who people rave about who are, not, who are outside of Manchester United, but you actually think of the goals he scored. Took penalties, took free kicks. I knew his back four would probably be stronger on paper than mine. You'll see why I went for this uh, foot, this back foot. You front loaded your team. I front loaded my team. Okay. Important position, centre mid. Gary, you've gone with an old favourite. Yeah, I, I went Roy Keane in central midfield. Scholes is the best player I ever played, but if you're picking the most inspirational player I ever played with, it was Roy Keane. So I, 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 I could only pick one. So I went for Roy Keane in central midfield. We've obviously got Keane, De Bruyne, and Modric which I think would be pretty impressive. So I went for Vieira. I mean, I had Keenan to start with and just moving people around. So, I mean, that's, that's always been what, what a debate that's been for years. And, and listen, I think it's probably a flip of the coin who, who, who you rate more highly. And uh, yeah, I went for Vieira. And now we're talking about the front three, the right of the front three. You said you front loaded your team, Gary, who'd you pick? I went for Mo Salah. Just think that what he's done at Liverpool in the last five, six years surprised me, shocked me. Couldn't believe that he, what he did in the first year, second year, he can, kept and continued to repeat and has repeated every season since. Goals like you wouldn't believe. I had Mahrez in from Leicester. 
mm. in that position at one point to try and get Leicester player in. But I thought, no, I'm going to go for the, I think, the best three players in those positions. Talking to Mahrez. Yeah, I went for Mahrez. I just felt when the Leicester pick, it had to be Mahrez or Kante. Doesn't, I, I don't think you could have got Jamie Vardy in this team when you think of Shearer was available uh, and Thierry Henry. Who's got the better front three out of these two? Thierry Henry. Yes, no, I, I agree. I mean, he's, for me, Thierry Henry is the best player to ever play in the Premier League, but to get certain players in, the Black yeah. Bay one could only be Shearer for me. Yeah, when you put Henry in, you have to make sure then Shearer comes out. You've got Ronaldo in Yeah, he's the greatest player of all time, Robin, so put... I, I thought... <laughs> yeah, yeah, what I'm saying to you is... Well, no, and that no, one again. All right, so my point is, not Cristiano not Ronaldo. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo's got a 1,000 goals. No, no, we're talking specifically about the Premier League. Yeah, that's what he did. We're not starting to abuse Cristiano Ronaldo, are I Thierry think, Henry uh, was better than Ronaldo in the Premier League. In the Premier League. He's in the Premier League. Goal season with Ballon d'Or, Champions League, no, in the Premier League. In the Premier League over, over, over four or five Champions years. Final? Thierry Henry was better than Ronaldo over four or five yeah. years. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I, I, I haven't. Lads, lads, I don't know why you've not yeah. said a great Premier League has got 40 yard goals. I don't know Where's Sergio Aguero? Not a single word of Sergio Aguero. Oh my God, do you understand the rules? He's won more Premier League titles than Shearer and uh, Henri combined. So we can't put De Bruyne in then? De Bruyne's not in. It's the best individual moment in Premier League history. De Bruyne's not in. What about De Bruyne? So De Bruyne's not in. For the moment, for the moment, for De Bruyne's a consistent player. You do it then, do it. Have you asked him? It's like Twitter. Why wasn't Kane? Why wasn't Kane your wild card? Given the fact that as a striker, no. What can I just? Yeah, just give me a second. Have a day off. I, I, I have a day off. I had played as my wild card at one point. Thank you very I much, Gary Neville. I did. What, what, <laughs> what, what I want to say, what I want to say is that if, look, if, if the role of a striker is merely to score goals, right? Oh, no. The one who's done it the best, bar Shearer, Lewis Suarez, is Harry Kane <laughs> over Henri <laughs> all day. I know, Harry, I know Henri was a good footballer, I get did it. You, I accept. Who would you rather play with? Harry Kane. Do you know what? This is the right, title yeah. winning team. It's I know goals. he's a wild card, but Spurs haven't won anything, <laughs> so... I suppose there Saul Campbell's in there, so it's all right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, can we recap your teams? Go from goalkeeper. Yeah, That's so Schmeichel, three. Simpson, Adams, Campbell, and Galas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible back Simpson four. Simpson and Galas. <laughs> Modric, Keane, and De Bruyne. Yeah. And then Salah, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Shearer. Mine is Alisson, Gary Neville, <laughs> uh, Tony <laughs> Adams, John Terry, Dennis Irwin, Patrick Vieira, Kevin De Bruyne, Luka Modric. Mares, Shearer, and Ronaldo. Yeah, Carra. Yeah, Carra will win. Show of hands. Show of hands for Carra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Show of hands for Gary. Yeah. Danny Simpson will vote for you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. That's all we've got time for. Thanks so much. We'll be back after the break with more football. Show.